Good to see you. This is traditional Cossack gear? Yes. Yeah, I like it. It's very, it's very interesting. Thank you. You look the part. Hi, hi, happy to be back in the UK. Uh, good. Uh, I really love to come yeah, back to the United uh, Kingdom and to London. London I've uh, achieved a lot here and I love uh, the people of the UK. Would it be correct in saying that this probably isn't the English fighter that you hoped to have fought? It might be. But this is the way, this is the part of the way. And if I have this Englishman on my way now, then I have to face him. Okay, I don't, I don't want to be disrespectful to Daniel and talk about different people, but Fury, what do you think about Tyson Fury? As a human being, I think he's a great person. I think he's a great man, a great father, a great family man, and as an athlete, he's brilliant as well. Uh, the only thing I can say is that there's too much words instead of actions. The whole world wants to see the fight between Alexander Usyk and Tyson Fury, and we have to make it. People are tired of talks. We need to do instead of talk. Daniel Dubois. You're a heavy favorite in the fight. Is there a chance that you may look past him to fight future fights further down the line and take your eye off the ball a little bit? I treat him with respect. I don't underestimate him. I treat him like I used to treat all of my opponents in the past. When I get myself prepared for Anthony Joshua or for uh, anyone else, I do some volume of work in my training camp. And with Daniel Dubois, there is no exception. I do exactly the same work. I train as hard uh, as I can, as it's possible, uh, to achieve my goal in the ring. So the fight is in Poland. There's expected to be 40,000 Ukrainian people there watching you. Are you an inspiration for the people of Ukraine? And must you win this fight? I can't really say on behalf of every Ukrainian, but uh, according to my conversations with the guys I used to have uh, every day, sometimes once per week, the guys that are fighting on the front line, the guys uh, who are supporting me, uh, they keep telling me that uh, my actions inspire them. It will be unfair if I say that I am the inspiration for Ukraine. Uh, I'm probably more the inspiration for my kids, for my sons, for my family, for my close ones. Do you, do you still live in Ukraine? Tak. Yeah. Can you describe it a little bit? Is it, is it right now you're in a war zone? Is it a, a scary place to live? I'm not scared. I'm not afraid. This is my home. Every day, during the day, in the morning, in the evening, and uh, during the day, I pray and I'm asking Lord uh, for this all to get stopped. I am more than one month in a training camp, but I can describe you when I was in Ukraine. Every night uh, I woke up because we were hearing either the alarms or uh, the explosions or the drones coming or the missiles and I saw it with my own eyes when the drones were exploding in the sky when they were destroyed by the anti-rocket systems and uh, in the morning when you wake up and you're taking your kid to school and you see people around and you see that they did not sleep well either, but all of them have a smile on the face. And if you ask them uh, the question, so how are you, you know for sure that uh, every night uh, some, some hit was uh, took place, uh, the explosions where you have some injured people, some people dead, and most of Ukrainians have the same answer. We are fighting for our freedom. We will be fighting for our independence, no matter what. We are not afraid to die. We want to be free. This is what's happening in my country.
you may not not want to describe yourself as an inspiration, but you are a, a massive inspiration f for your people. I'm just a normal Ukrainian who you can see on the TV screen a bit more often. So going back to the fight, at heavyweight you've had a couple of fights, but two fights with Anthony Joshua, which you won pretty convincingly. What differences do you see in, in, in Joshua and Daniel Dubois, and is he any more dangerous than Anthony Joshua? Uh, you cannot compare those two guys. These are completely different levels of athletes. The only thing uh, that is in common uh, is that they both are boxers. Frank Warren, Daniel Dubois' promoter, has been very vocal. He seems very confident. Is he really confident or is this pr a promoter talking? He's a very talented man, a very talented personality, uh, distinguished himself as a prominent promoter. Uh, so he has to talk and he has to, to speak conf with the confidence, otherwise people will start hesitating. But do you believe him? Uh, no. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, you, you haven't had a KO win since Tony Bellew. Will you be looking for a knockout in this fight? especially being so close to home, in front of your own people? I'm never focused on a KO. You need to box, but if it comes, then I have an impression, and it's based on my experience, when a fighter is loaded for the punch, for the heavy punch, to knock out his opponent, He's losing uh, some of the advantages, very important ones. The ones he's, uh, he's losing are the ones that are bringing the victory at the end. So after this fight, in an ideal world, what, what's next? Another mandatory or fury? I'm never overlooking my next opponent and I won't do it this time. I can say for sure that after the fight I will, I will really want to spend uh, some time with my family, with my kids, because uh, there's a significant time that I spend in the training camp and I'm, I'm not seeing them. You were undisputed at cruiserweight. You have three of the four major, major belts at heavyweight. A fight with Fury, and if you beat Fury, you become undisputed at heavyweight as well, two-weight undisputed champion. Is this important for your legacy? This is my way. I have to finish my way, and this is a part of my way. Uh, when I complete it, I don't know what's going to happen. I, I will probably have another way to go, one more. Maybe I become the main coach of the national team and will be preparing Ukrainian boxers for the Olympic Games or maybe I will nominate myself for the presidency. I don't know. <laughs> Tell the people why they should tune in the TNT Sports and watch this fight. You need to be a part of it because it's a historical moment and uh, you don't want to find yourself in the future that I, I've heard about it. No, you have to say, I witnessed it myself, I was watching it live or I visited, I attended it myself on the stadium. That's why it's important. So you, you'll have a, a massive fan base, not only in Ukraine, but globally, you'll have fans around the world. Have you a message for those people? I love my fans. I love uh, our people. Listen, uh, love is key. Well, love is extraordinary feeling of real life. You have to love everything in your life. I see you playing with your cross. Um, you're a religious man. Is, is faith something that's very important to you? Jesus is life for me. Boxing, it's not my life. My life, it's Jesus.